Forget what you've seen in Star Wars or Star Trek. Space warfare is no longer the stuff of science fiction. It's a reality, unfolding right now above our heads. Think about it. The United States, China and Russia, three of the world's most powerful nations, are locked in a celestial chess match. A new era of conflict is brewing not on land or sea, but in the vast, cold expanse of space. The stakes? Nothing less than control of the final frontier. Russia, not one to be left behind, has been busy flexing its cosmic muscles. They've deployed anti-satellite weapons, adding a new twist to the age-old game of global power play. But it's not just about physical weaponry. The battle has taken a digital turn, with cyber attacks on satellite networks becoming the new norm. The battlefield has shifted and it's thousands of miles above us. Space warfare is not just a subplot in a sci-fi novel anymore. It's a critical domain, a new kind of arms race that's silently shaping the future of international relations and security. Countries are investing in military space branches, like the US Space Force, in a bid to dominate this new battleground. This is more than just a struggle for power. It's about the control of a realm that's integral to our everyday lives. So, next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember this. Those aren't just stars twinkling back at you. They're satellites, space stations, and possibly even weapons. And hey, while you're looking up, why not give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe. We promise it's easier than launching a rocket. So, why is space suddenly the new battlefield? The answer lies in our pockets, our cars, and even our homes. You see, our world is woven together by an intricate web of satellite systems. These satellites, way above us, have become the invisible threads that connect our modern society. They're critical for things as simple as your smartphone's GPS to as complex as the systems that guide our cars. They even help monitor the weather and provide us with our daily news and entertainment. But this isn't just about us being able to find the nearest coffee shop or binge watch our favorite shows. These satellites also play a pivotal role in modern warfare. Military forces across the globe rely heavily on them for communication, navigation, and reconnaissance. Think about it. To move troops, you need precise GPS coordinates. To plan a mission, you need accurate weather forecasts. To execute operations, you need reliable communication channels. And to monitor potential threats, you need constant surveillance. All these functions are facilitated by satellites orbiting our planet. In this sense, space isn't just a vast expanse of nothingness anymore. It's become a bustling highway of information, a critical part of our technological infrastructure. And just like any highway, it's become a strategic point of control. But here's the kicker. This isn't just about controlling the flow of information. It's about controlling the tools of warfare themselves. Satellites have become the new weapons in our arsenal and space has become the new ground zero. The emergence of space as a battlefield changes the dynamics of warfare. The traditional concept of front lines and territories is blurred. The battlefield is no longer confined to land, sea, or air. It's expanded to a realm where there are no boundaries, no borders. A realm where, quite literally, the sky is no longer the limit. Space isn't just about exploration and discovery anymore. It's a critical part of our military and technological infrastructure. Who controls space controls the world. Let's take a closer look at the space weapons of the United States, China, and Russia, the major players in this celestial chess game. Starting with the United States, they have developed an arsenal of anti-satellite missiles, capable of disabling or destroying enemy satellites. These missiles, launched from aircraft or naval vessels, can reach the orbits of most operational satellites. The U.S. also maintains a vast space surveillance network, a system of radars and telescopes designed to track all objects in space. Now, on to China. They have developed advanced satellite jammers. These devices can disrupt or block satellite signals, effectively silencing enemy communication or navigation systems. China has also tested anti-satellite missiles, demonstrating their capability to physically destroy satellites. Last but not least, Russia. They too have a variety of anti-satellite weapons, but they have also reportedly developed space-based lasers. These are designed to blind or damage enemy satellites, neutralizing them without causing a rain of dangerous space debris. These weapons are not just for show. They represent a new era of warfare, fought not on land, sea, or air, but in the vast expanse of space. The stakes are high, and the rules of engagement 
are still being written. As we move forward, we need to ask ourselves, are we ready for this new frontier of conflict? Space isn't just for astronauts anymore. Soldiers are joining the ranks too. It's a brave new world out there, folks. The once peaceful expanse of the cosmos is now the latest frontier for military operations. With nations like the United States, China, and Russia creating their own military space branches, the stars are no longer just a realm of exploration and discovery. They've now become a potential battlefield. Take the U.S. Space Force, for instance. It's not a plot straight out of a science fiction movie. This is real life and it's happening right now. The Space Force is a full-fledged branch of the U.S. military tasked with safeguarding America's interests in the final frontier. And it's not alone. Countries around the globe are following suit, investing vast resources into their own space warfare capabilities. But why, you might ask? Well, the answer is simple. Satellites. Protecting these assets and potentially disrupting those of adversaries is a key motive behind this militarization of space. And so we find ourselves in the midst of a space arms race. It's not about who has the biggest nukes anymore. It's about who has the most advanced satellite technology, the best anti-satellite weapons, and the most robust cyber defenses. It's about control, power, and influence on a cosmic scale. A single well-placed anti-satellite missile could cripple economies, disrupt military operations, and plunge us back into the technological dark ages. Scary thought, isn't it? But it's a reality we have to face as we continue to venture out among the stars. In this new arms race, the finish line isn't on Earth, it's in the stars. So what's next? Will we see Star Wars become a reality? Not quite, but the future is closer than you think. Space technology is evolving at a rapid pace and it's not just about exploring the stars anymore. This evolution is altering the very nature of conflict and warfare. Consider this. The commercialization of space services is already underway. Companies are launching satellites for everything from global communications to precise weather monitoring. But these advancements aren't confined to peaceful applications. The same technology that enables us to stream our favorite shows in high definition could potentially be used for more sinister purposes. Imagine a world where autonomous spacecraft patrol the Earth's orbit, armed with space-based weapons ready to strike at a moment's notice. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi novel, doesn't it? Yet it's a future that might not be too far off. With the increasing militarization of space, we're seeing the dawn of a new era of warfare. As with any technological evolution, there are opportunities to be seized. The commercialization of space services could lead to a boom in the space economy, creating jobs and driving innovation. And just as the internet revolutionized our world, so too could the space revolution. And let's not forget the potential for diplomacy and cooperation. The international community has a chance to establish norms and rules for this new frontier, to ensure that space remains a place for peace and exploration rather than conflict. The future of space warfare is upon us. It's a brave new world filled with both challenges and opportunities. Thank you so much for tuning in. Your support means the world to us. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.